Hey everybody, and welcome to our home. We like to bring you inside of our home now and tell you about an exciting project we have going on right now, which is building our home theater. Now, just like in the last video, I started this project before I started the channel. So I'm not gonna have a full uh, video set of everything all the way from uh, the planning process and the demolition of the rooms and then the construction part of it. But what I'm gonna do is this video is going to be a, uh, a slideshow presentation. It's not gonna be very long with a voiceover just to kind of catch you up and see where we came from, bring you up to the point that we're at now. And then there'll be videos afterwards where I'm doing the dreadful job of mudding, sheetrock, stuff like that. Then we get into cool stuff like uh, paint, speakers, uh, all this kind of stuff. So to kind of give you an idea of what we did is uh, we have a uh, closed in loft or an air conditioned attic, so to speak. And it used to be two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bathroom. And our daughters, that's, this is where they stayed when they were teenagers. One of our girls has grown out of the house, married, got a baby, cute little baby girl. And then our 17 year old, she's about to go into the military. So after Summer moved out, Selena, the one you saw in the video that has the uh, Fiesta, they had the nasty juice spilled all in the back seat of her car. She decided to move down to the second floor into my office. So my office became her bedroom, move stuff out. I think she really didn't want to be alone up here anymore. She'll never admit that. But anyway, we had this whole big area up here with nothing going on. I mean, I, I was coming up here just to run the sinks, run the shower, and uh, flush the toilet, turn lights on, make sure stuff's working. Just for what? Just so we could have this extra room? There's really no purpose in that. You know, our son, he's 11 years old, so we're looking for him to get a job in about six months and get out. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. But uh, there's no need to have these extra bedrooms up here when we've always dreamed of having a movie theater. So, sit back, relax. Hopefully this video won't be too long. Oh, and by the way, as of right now, we have eight, I think it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight subscribers. So thank you for subscribing, uh, liking the videos, all that good stuff. We hope that you will find a video that you like at some point. But uh, just sit back, relax, and watch this recap of where we started in the planning process and all the demo that we had to do to get started on this movie theater. Yeah. The wall behind me, speakers, speaker wall, it's where the screen's gonna be. I'm not even gonna pan out so you can see anything because I don't want you to cheat. First picture is going to be Summer's old room. You see there's two closets there. And in the beginning, I didn't know why there were two closets. And I found out later that they decided to put something in every single wall of this closed in attic. Duct work, plumbing, wires, all kinds of stuff. So the door on the right is what is going to become the AV closet. The door on the left is a closet that we completely eliminate. Pan to the left, you see the doorway to the hallway and the door to the bathroom. And then the bathroom goes all the way through to Selena's room. Lots of walls to tear down. This is in the hallway uh, facing back towards Summer's room. And then the next picture is going to be in the hallway looking at Selena's room through her doorway. This is Selena's room that after she moved out became her homeschool room. Uh, this is back looking from her closet which is going to be the screen wall for the movie theater looking towards the bathroom from the other direction. Now this is the hallway looking from Selena's room. That is the bathroom uh, door from Selena's room. Now just to the left of the door you can see a little area where the wall comes out and then kind of like a weird corner just sitting out there. I never realized what that was and uh, we always had air conditioning problems up here in the attic, closed in attic. 
and we're going to find out why later. But there's a reason why that big area, that corner, is sticking out of that wall. Selena's room again. Another picture. Another picture. That's going to be the screen wall. And that closet is going to be eliminated because that will be part of the screen wall also. More of the bathroom. As you can see, I had tons to tear out. Bath with shower to tear out, sinks, toilet. Now this whole process started in August of 2019. So now we get into the demo part. And I'm telling you, this is one of the scariest parts because when you start knocking big holes in your walls like this, you really start questioning, at least I do, questioning uh, what exactly am I thinking? What is going on here? So now you start to see the duct work. And that big uh, duct that you see now, um, in the back of the picture, that's Selena's room with her closet. That big piece of ductwork right there is why they had that big corner of that wall cut out. Now, one of the reasons why we had so many air conditioning problems is because when they cut all that out and uh, they had this ductwork going through all the way from the third floor, that piece right there, that duct goes all the way down to the first floor. It's actually the first floor return. What they did was when they cut the attic wide open, they didn't close it back in. So we had all this hot attic air that was going right down into the walls of both of the girls' closets, their rooms, the bathroom, and all that. So basically what we're doing is we're heating with the attic air. We are heating every bit of that air going all through their walls. And none of the outlets were, uh, were sealed. So of course any forced air, air conditioning we're trying to do is being pushed out of the vents is being replaced with hot air from the attic so no wonder it would never cool properly now the girls weren't up there sweating it's just we had an air conditioner that ran all the time this brings us to september 2019 now i got to figure out what am i going to do with all this ductwork well as you can see i had to take the rectangular rigid ductwork and actually move it all the way underneath the door and then back up into the current attic because half of the attic's closed condition space the other half is just regular attic storage space that's not uh, conditioned space but that's where the air handler is at so I just had to move that ductwork which was a lot of fun now during this process that brings us to October this picture was actually taken on October 31st, Halloween, go figure. Um, we found out that we had bats in the attic. So, if bats make you, I don't know, feel uneasy or whatever, there's a little video of these bats. I think they're kind of cute, but if you don't want to see bats squirming around in the walls, then don't look. But, that's your warning. We found these bats and of course we had to get rid of them. I found all kind of uh, issues up that they were causing and I had a quote from a guy that was going to do it, um, kind of get the bats out, do all this other kind of stuff, but honestly I've gotten to the point where I don't trust um, a lot of people that I hire unless I know them, so I decided to do it all myself and that was a job. I believe we had probably a hundred bats living up there at this time so I actually had a buddy at work say you know what your movie theater room has already paid for itself because of the demo that you did you found out you had bats and now you got rid of them so no damage to the house and I'm telling you if you read up on these things they will cause tons of damage in your house and they breed really really fast but that's gone thank goodness we got rid of those now all through the month of October I was dealing with bats I wasn't even thinking about a YouTube channel at the time so of course we don't have any video of that but you would not want to want you would not want to have seen those videos because I said a lot of words they should not be on YouTube or be spoken by anybody especially when a bat's flying down at my face but we got all that done and started to move along with the movie theater again that brings us to November as you can see here the floor is now closed up where all the ductwork was. I got all the ductwork moved. 
I got the plumbing taken out, got everything capped, and now of course that sheetrock work I gotta do later. Well then, when I started looking up at the ceiling, I noticed there were areas that uh, there were a complete ceiling joist cut. Now, ceiling joists don't always, don't just hold up your ceiling and sheetrock, stuff like that. They have a purpose with rafters and everything. I'm not going to go into details on that. But basically, if you cut a 2x6 in a house, you better believe that you're weakening the house in some way. So what they did is in that ductwork that you saw coming through the walls, they cut the 2x6s, the ceiling joists, and they didn't uh, scab in any type of reinforcement, nothing. They just had... I think three or four spots of these uh, ceiling joists that were cut and they just left it wide open. So I looked it up on YouTube. Thank you YouTube on how to fix this type of thing. And what I did is I got some two by sixes and put liquid nails uh, on the new two by sixes, pulled it together, drilled holes, put big old bolts through it, held it together. That way the framing is the way it's supposed to be. So Another good thing for having the movie room is finding issues like this and taking care of it. So now the house is a little bit stronger and I thought about just not even worrying about it, saying, man, the house was built that way. We're just going to leave it, but no. Um, I know as soon as I put the sheetrock up, it would continue to bother me. I'd be worrying about stuff falling in, but now the house is stronger. So another good reason to work on your house and look and get educated on what is in your walls and in your ceiling and so you can fix things now back to the picture where the walls are closed up the reason why I'm showing this picture is now you can see that there's just various holes all in the ceiling I'm trying to do all kinds of different work I'm trying to work on the two by sixes that have been cut I decided you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and kick all this sheetrock down from the ceiling maybe it'll make life easier I will be able to um, I don't know Maybe it'll make life easier. But when I did that, look at what happened. Look at all this insulation that hit the ground. It took me forever to get all this junk cleaned up. But thank goodness we got it done. Now, let's see where we're at now. At this point, I'm thinking, man, I, I'm pretty much committed to this process. So I better come up with a plan. So there is my architectural drawing of the plan that we have in place. And this brings us to December of 2019 we're moving along now I've got pictures of the screen wall where it's gonna be the AV closet getting all excited well then we also thought of a couple different ideas on what to do uh, with the with the areas and the space of this and that so we decided um, to do a snack bar because the area is big enough to have a decent sized movie theater and with an empty room behind it we thought about leaving that as a bedroom, but we're thinking, no, we don't really want to do that because let's say somebody is staying with us up here. You're definitely not going to be wanting to watch a movie with some booming sound system if somebody's trying to sleep over there. So, with my research on YouTube, um, the dimensions that we have, 23 feet long by 13 feet wide, is a pretty optimal uh, rectangular room to have for a good sound system with a movie theater. So this wall that you're looking at now, that's cut out, I actually built that wall, two by six wall, because I'm gonna have rear speakers in it. And the cutout that you see is where the snack bar countertop is going to be. So put that there, later on wire outlets all in that area. Then the speaker wire, um, the speaker wire wiring starts at this point. And that was the screen wall that you saw. Now we're looking back at the riser. Now the speaker wire, I ran it all up in the attic as high as possible to get it away from all the other high voltage lines, what they call it. These are called low voltage. All your regular 110 wires and things like that are called high voltage. And if you have them contacting each other, it's a fire hazard, things like that. And it can also cause interference. So I wanted to make sure we didn't have any of those issues, ran everything way up high with pieces of conduit all the way down to the AV closet. And I know that looks like a big mess, but it's really not. It's really organized, everything's labeled. Now I'm just form fitting the snack bar table onto the air. I wanted to have a floating 
snack bar. And so that's what I've got. And I got some uh, brackets. They're actually made for granite countertops, so I know they're plenty strong. Um, put them in, pretty easy to install. Now, I played, I had a lot of issues trying to find a tabletop to go in there. Um, mainly because things are so expensive and this thing is seven feet long or wide however you want to say it and when you start looking at uh, marble and granite and things like that these countertops is you're gonna look at a custom countertop or you're gonna have to buy a humongous slab and then have it cut down neither of that made sense to me I didn't want to do that so I'm looking around I'm trying to figure out what in the world am I gonna do uh, for this countertop well, I was looking at the Home Depot website one day and I found a, uh, it could be used as a toolbox top, but it's mainly for a workbench. But I wanted to stay with the grays and the blacks along with the whole theme of the movie theater. And I found this Husky work table that is stainless steel. This thing only costs like 100 to 150 bucks, somewhere along there. And it's exactly seven feet long. I couldn't believe it. So that's what I got. Um, it's got a little Husky label on it, but we turned it around so it's on the movie theater side so you won't see it in the snack bar. But you know what? I won't tell anybody if you don't tell anybody that it's actually a work uh, or a, <laughs> a workbench top. But that's what we've got. So this is just fitting it in place. And I bought a router to kind of route the wood out so I have a nice, tight fit. And... So far, we like it. Now, all this work that we're doing on the snack bar is January 2019. And when I put the brackets on there, the uh, granite countertop brackets, that was, I believe, around February. Got those put in. At that time, I'm thinking we're going to get real close to uh, putting sheetrock in, things like that. So I decided to spray paint everything black that's going to be uh, in the walls and on the ceiling for obvious reasons we want the screen to be the focus of the whole room and not anything else so here we got the humongous diffusers that we got to give it a movie theater feel and we want to have the max amount of air conditioning uh, air to come out of those diffusers into the uh, space and try to um, cool this room down better than it was when it was two bedrooms and a bathroom all my speakers were white along with the speaker grates. So all I did was spray paint every bit of that. If you take your time with spray paint, you can do a great job and it can look really well or it can look really good. Then we start with the sheetrock. I bought this little stand, I think it was like $120 on Amazon. No big deal. It did great. Held that held all the uh, sheetrock up for me. Screw it in place. I hate sheetrock. I hate it. I want to talk about this real quick. You see how perfect that cut is around that recessed light? There's no way that I can do that on my own. If I grabbed a new piece of sheetrock, did some measurements, use a hole saw, or just try to cut it out with a sheetrock saw, there's no way. So another thing I did on YouTube is I looked up how to do that. Real simple. I had a Dremel. You get a, uh, a bit that's made for sheetrock to cut it out like that. So glad that I found that on YouTube and thank you to all you smart guys on YouTube that showed me how to do that but here is the sheetrock completed now we have to start with the mud the dreaded mud and that is where our video series is going to start well there you have it. a full recap of where we started our planning process uh, the, the, the walls that we knocked down uh, what we did and the thing about it is we didn't have a full plan uh, when we first started. It was just kind of up in the air. This is kind of what we want to do. But the thing about it is I'm kind of glad we did it that way. And I'm glad we didn't hire somebody to do all this for one is because it's going to cost way more money. But also we changed as we went through, as we started knocking uh, walls down and we started seeing things coming together, we said, well, let's not do this there. Let's do this. Let's change this. Let's change that. So the whole process, ended up uh, changing for the better the slower we go yeah uh, we want it done now you know we want to have a, a movie theater up here real nice and we're probably gonna be coming up on a year before the theater is complete with the snack bar seats and all that 
But the slower we go, the more time we have to think about things and it comes out better in the end. So now you get to see me do all kind of uh, crazy work on videos, get to see me mess things up. And uh, so I said it wouldn't be a long video or I hoped it wouldn't be a long video, but it actually ends up being about 20 minutes long. I apologize. I can't say it won't happen again because I'm pretty long winded, but please like and subscribe. Can't wait to get this done. Can you?